Well? Well, David, what do you want? Thought you might like to see this. You weren't around then. What? What is it? Just some photographs of Carolyn when she was growing up. Oh. <laughs> well, that's very thoughtful of you, David, I must say. Aren't you going to look at any of them? Uh, Oh, well, yes, yes, of course I am. That one must have been taken of Carolyn. Just about the time you left. Collinwood. No. Oh, no, 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 it isn't. Yes, of course I am. Alexander, well, I'm pleased to see you. How do you do, sir? Well, how has everything been? Two days in Bangor is like being away forever. It always seems that way. Have you been keeping things ship shape while I've been gone, David? As well as I could, sir. Well, I hope so. Oh, I brought you something. You did? Now, guess what it is. I don't know. What? Well, you dragged me past that store last week to look at it. A transistor radio! I got the best one I could find. Oh, this is neat. Did I get? Look, Alexander. Oh, not here, David. Please, take it up to your room. Is there any mail for me in the study? Oh, thanks so much, Father. This is the best one I've ever seen. You like it too, huh? I want it. What? I'm going to keep it. But, Alexander! You're going to give it to me. Aren't you, David? Yes, you can have it. You're good, David. I'm glad they sent me you. wasn't like David. Not like David at all. I know how much he wanted that. Alex. Alex, there is something strange about you. Could Paul Stoddard be right? There's something very odd happening here. Hello, Maggie. Hello, Mr. Collins. Welcome back. Why, thank you. Is Mrs. Stoddard at home? Mm-hmm. Maggie, this can't be all of the mail for me. What are you doing in this house? Maggie, if you'll excuse us, please. Well, 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 my dear Roger. Please don't call me that. How nice to see you. It is you? not nice to see you. I don't know why you're back here. I'm I... living here. I don't believe it. Well, your dear sister was kind enough to insist that I come back. Yes, I did, Roger. What? Well, if I remember you too well, I know that you like to uh, quarrel uh, alone. So, uh, have a pleasant battle. I'll be in my room uh, waiting to congratulate the winner. And if history repeats itself, I know who that winner will be.
Elizabeth, what is that now man doing in this house? Now start, he's changed. You are mad. For example, that check you gave Carolyn, he tore it up. That was for effect, I'm sure, because he knew somehow that you would take him back. Have you forgotten what I have what forgotten he... nothing. Well, what will people say, that Elizabeth? That doesn't concern me. But then what does? Carolyn's happiness. That's just your rationalization. He will make her just as unhappy as he made you. He is a different man, Roger. I don't believe it. And I don't think for one moment that you are foolish enough to believe it either. Since he's in this house, there's nothing I can do about it. But I'm going to find out the reason that he's come back. Because I think it has nothing to do with anything you said this afternoon. here. Who's in this room? <laughs> what are you doing here? Hiding. Why? Tell me why. David and I are playing hide and seek. I better go find a new place to hide. No, no, you don't. You're going to stay right here and answer a few questions. Please, Mrs. Stoddard, he'll hear us. I want to win. Well, then we will talk very quietly, won't we? Now, how long are you going to stay here? Just for the day. I mean in town. I don't know. Is Philip Todd really your uncle? You're hurting me. Alexander! Alexander, come... Alexander? Alexander. and I haven't been able to find her. Maybe I didn't really see her. No, I did. I'm not crazy. I did see her. I even spoke to her. Carolyn, when she was eight years old. Am I sure I'm not crazy? Carolyn. Carolyn, I have been looking all over for you. Carolyn? No, don't come near me. I hate you for what you did. But I can explain if you just give me the chance. I can explain if you just... Keep looking at it until I snap my fingers. And look at it deeply. Deeper and deeper. Can you see the center? Can you see the center of the stone? Yes. You must look still further because beyond that center is another center. 
And beyond that, still another. Can you see it? Yes. I can see beyond what I saw before. Must go deeper and deeper. Deeper. The center of the stone. Deeper. As far deeper. as you can go. I can go no further. Then it is time to look inside yourself. Myself. Who are you? I am. I am. What's the matter? I don't know. Who are you? I'm waiting too. Why? Why are you waiting? I'm waiting to leave. I, I must go away from here. I, I must go right now. I, no. No, you cannot go. I must. Why? Did you do something wrong? I must leave here. I must. Why? Try to remember why you feel you must leave. Because... Because of him. Who? Who is he? Who are you? I can't answer that. I can't. You must. You must try. Frederick Thorne. What did you say? Who is Frederick Thorne? Frederick Thorne. It's all away. It's all done. It's all over. Yes. Yes, you're right. It is all over. Are you, are you all right? Yes. Well, was it a brilliant success? Do you have a full biography? Who is Frederick Thorne? Am I supposed to know? Oh, you mentioned his name in your hypnotic state. I did? Well, in my unhypnotic state, I've never heard of the guy. What else did you learn? Oh, these things take time. In other words, doctor, you learned nothing. No, that's not true. We're at the beginning of a, of a long, long road. There are many things to do. I want you to completely cooperate with me. Oh, yes. That's a nice thought. But uh, what am I going to eat while we travel this long road? And who's going to pay my rent? I will take care of everything. Oh? Hey, tell me. Are you uh, this generous with all of your patients? Will you put yourself in my hands for as long as is necessary and stay in Collinsport? Sure. Why not? As long as the drinks are on the house. Good. I'll make the necessary arrangements and come back here to get you. Thank you, Doctor. And Doctor, you really think you can find out the truth about me? I hope so. Julia. Julia. Chris, Chris, what are you doing here? I think I'm finally on to something. What? I heard a couple of guys talking in the hospital cafeteria. One of them was telling the other about something strange that happened in the x-ray department the other day. What? It seems that a man came in to have a painting x-rayed. Now... It could only have been... Mr. Nakamura. And it could only have been your painting. This man seemed to seem to realize how strange his request was, and he spent a lot of money to keep it quiet 
and to have it done quickly. What can she suspect? I don't know. What's she looking for? She called me up to her suite today and said that a friend of hers is coming into town and she wants to borrow that painting back again. Whatever it is she's looking for, she may have found it. to see her. Ask her how she got here, who she is, what she wants from me. Oh, Dr. Hoffman, would you come here a moment, please? What's the matter, Mr. Terry? Now, do you remember my asking you if you'd seen a little girl? Yes, yes, I remember. Well, I've seen her twice since then. First, she disappeared into the drawing room. But now, I've got her trapped behind this door. She can't get away from me this time. Mr. Stoddard. No, no, I know she's in here. And you can see her if you'll just look. She's in here now. Hello, Mr. Stoddard. Where is she? Where is who, Mr. Stoddard? That little girl who went in there. She isn't there. There's nobody else in that room. She was, so don't bother to, 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 to lie to me. Carolyn was there. I saw her go in there. I did, I saw her go in there. Is this where I'm going to stay? Miss Cora? What? Is this where I'm going to stay? Oh, no, this is my suite. I'll call down at the desk in a few minutes and they'll make arrangements for you. Why are you staring at me? I'm trying to convince myself that it isn't a dream. What are you talking about? Have you no memory at all? Listen, I don't even know whether I'm right or left-handed. My face isn't familiar to you. Should it be? Have we met before tonight? Well, now look, if we have, you're going to have to tell me where it was and when. It was a long time ago. A very long time ago. Is that all you're going to tell me? It was a long time ago? Perhaps I shouldn't have told you that. Why not? It's possible that I'm mistaken. About what? You! I think that would be the cruelest thing that ever happened to me. Waiting so long and then finally thinking that I've succeeded. And then learning that you're not really you at all. I don't think I could bear that. Now look, you know, you're not making any sense. Now why did you bring me to this room? What is it you want from me? 
Now what's the matter? Have I said something wrong? No, I... I realize that you deserve more than I'm telling you. I, I wish I could tell you. I wish I could make everything easier. Now, look, it's not that I don't appreciate your help. It's just that I'm in no condition to be bothered by guessing games. We're not playing a game. Then what are we playing? You brought me here for a reason. What is it? This, this may sound strange, but when the time comes, you won't have to ask me that question. You'll know. I, uh, I really don't think I like this. I mean, right now, my life itself is pretty much of a mystery. I, uh, I don't think it would be good to uh, confuse things even more by letting you add more mystery to it. Where are you going? I don't know, but I can't stay here. I'm sorry. No, please don't leave me now! I promise I'll do everything I can to help you. Uh, I want you to regain your memory. I want that more than anything. Please believe that. Oh, please stay. You really mean it? Yes, I do. But yet you won't tell me why you feel the way you do. Well, I have a good reason, and, and when you know what it is, you'll understand. Look, you don't seem to realize what an impossible task you're undertaking. I have no identity. I'm a nobody. And it's going to take a lot more than your good intentions to change that. Well, that's not quite true. The identification that you carry with you says that you're Grant Douglas. But on the other hand, there are at least two people who think you're really... Quentin Collins. Quentin Collins lived over a hundred years ago. It hardly oh, seems likely that he'd be Oh, please trust me. You won't regret it. Please, stay and let me do what I can. All right. Since I have nothing further to lose, I'll stay. Mm -hmm. your help. What's wrong? I'm worried about Paul. His behavior today has been very illogical, to say the least. Yes, I know. Where is he now? Upstairs in his room, lying on the bed. He keeps muttering Carolyn's name over and over. Have you spoken to him? Yes, but I can't make, get him to make any sense. He insists that he saw Carolyn at the age of eight today. He must be having hallucinations. He told me about the little girl that he saw, too. Can you think of any reason that's causing his behavior? Paul started hasn't been in this house in 20 years. He must feel guilty about neglecting Carolyn for all that time, and there's no telling how that guilt might manifest itself. I was hoping that you'd go up and have a talk with him. Do you think... I don't think that would accomplish anything. Well, you're a doctor, and it's very clear that he's disturbed. Yes, I admit he is disturbed, but... But what, Julia? Liz, do you remember the other night when I came in and you and Paul started were having a conversation here. Do you remember the incident? Yes. He was very upset. He felt that there was some great conspiracy. Something about Barnabas and the antique shop in town. And you told him that there was no point in going to the police that they wouldn't believe his story. Frankly, he was talking so much I don't remember what I said. But what was he talking about? What story wouldn't the police believe? Well, to tell you the truth, I don't really remember. But he was explaining it to you. Julia, he's been carrying on like this ever since he came back to Collinsport. He insists that something or someone is after him. I'm sure something from his past must be haunting him. 
But Barnabas has nothing to do with his past. Nor do you, yet he insists you're part of the, the conspiracy. Yes, that's true. Believe me, Julia, everything you heard the other evening is fantasy. Star, Dr. Hoffman's expecting me. Hello, Chris. Come into the drive. If you and Chris have business to discuss, I'll go back upstairs. Liz, I'd like to finish this conversation later. Yes, of course. But you're convenient. Yes, the lab technician at the hospital thought it was a little odd, but I guess he's used to it by now. Good, because I need it more than ever. It's more important. Why? What's happened? When I went to the hospital to get Grant Douglas, he refused to come with me. He said he didn't want me to treat him anymore. Why? If he has amnesia, why should he turn you down? He left with Olivia Corey. Olivia Corey. I don't get it. Why is she so interested in him? She must either know or suspect that he is really Quentin Collins. Let me see the x-ray. Now I know why she's so interested in that painting. Why? Because there's another painting under that. A portrait 